S&P 500 looks for where stability. Before we start the video, quick word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by XNS, the world's largest retail brokerage offering ultra-fast execution and no overnight fees. Find a link in the description below. The S&P 500 has been somewhat noisy in the early hours as traders try to determine whether or not they want to start buying. Ultimately, this is just a continuation of the noisy behavior that we've seen on Friday. And therefore, I think any dip probably runs into buyers underneath, especially down to the 5300 level. The 50-day EMA is sitting just above the 5200 level and is rising. So I think that's your soft floor, if you will. That's assuming that we even get below the 5300 level. On the upside... If we can break above the 5380 level, then I think it opens up a move to 5500, which is my longer term target. It is worth noting for you Elliott Wave theorists out there that we've had leg one, leg two, and now it looks like we're trying to go into leg three. Subjective analysis, I know, and I don't really believe it, but it is something that was brought to my attention the other day. Ultimately, this is a market that I think is going to be noisy, but positive overall. So I look at each dip as a potential buying opportunity. And remember that the S&P 500 is not equal weighted. So that means just a handful of stocks can drive it higher, and they often do. With this, I am a buyer. I don't necessarily want to jump all in right here, but short-term dips should offer opportunities to build up a position if you are not already long. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe.